Hey guys, Robert Martin Lees from way down in New Zealand. I'm sorry you guys are here listening to a video like this, but while you're here, if you could subscribe to my channel and give me just a little bit of support so I can keep these sort of things going. I'm only here trying to help. And in this video, we're looking at the top five common ending of relationship breakup signals. So you can perhaps gain some insight to what might be happening in your love life. Being surprised by someone telling you you're about to break up can really knock you for six. And sometimes the hints that they may have been leaving can be rather confusing. Or they just simply can't express themselves in a correct and clearly understood way. When you're at that stage in a relationship, we tend to observe every little wrong thing that the partner does. When this occurs, it is time to honestly evaluate what really is going on. So let's quickly look at the top five end of relationship breakup signals. Okay, signal number one. You know, when you, someone's saying, I think I, I just need some time out. It's up there with that phrase when a partner is also saying, it's about me and not you. And that's something that you don't want to overlook. But this is also something that always doesn't generally mean it's, it's the end. But it does usually mean that there's been no physical or spiritual contact in your relationship for some time. Now it's not always bad. Like that old saying goes, absence can make the heart grow fonder. So if this is something of relevance with you, you can be sure that your partner is unhappy about something and can't find a way to communicate. Now, signal number two. I'll talk to you later. And something that will be said in a tone of disappointment, along with probably a sigh. Often they are saying in a roundabout way that they just want you to leave them alone. You can yourself get quite confused with this deterring push-off. Maybe they feel like you're being too needy or they just have too much going through their mind and cannot communicate with you. Whatever it may be, do not push them. It's obvious they can't and won't explain things at this point and if you do push the issue, things could become nasty and you will definitely lose them. When you're being in that comparison and your partner's saying, well, they don't do that. When you become compared to others, things can be really seriously bad. Whether you're being in the comparison from whether it's from a previous relationship or their parents or any other couple that they see as being successful, it's not good. And this will cause extreme relationship depression and the belittling to the receiver. Your relationship is not about anybody else but the one you are with. Now, however, this generally means that they don't feel you are as good as what you should be, and they want better, or they want change. Now, don't. It's important that you don't become defensive to your capabilities, but try to discuss perhaps what they think without becoming defensive. Now, signal number four, throwing insults. Insults are a good sign that there is a great lack and loss of respect in your relationship. When you have got to that stage of trying to hurt and abuse your partner, you are going too far. This type of abuse is inexcusable and there is no reason in love to disrespect. And in my mind, it's worse than physical abuse. Now naturally, in an argument mode, we can become angry and say and do things that we don't mean. The signal number five is ignorance. When everything is stopped, no communication or any form of gesture in the relationship is upon explosion. If you are at this stage, I suggest you put your foot down right now and make the decision to leave whether it 
may just be for some time out, or you really do think it's over, if things are at this stage, you need to take action before it can really damage your self-esteem and confidence. Believe me, this is what happens. Relationships are getting harder and harder to have and maintain, and it's important that you keep working at it. So yeah, I hope you found that helpful. I am really sorry you guys are looking for this sort of information. If you really want some help and guidance to get through, I've left a link in the description of this video. And and once again, please subscribe to my channel and help share my messages. Give my video a thumbs up and, and I hope everything gets well for you. Don't hesitate to comment in the and sing out I'm always on the on the channel and, and trying to help and share and love and care so good luck man cheers